Bataan National High School is one of the biggest schools in the 1st Congressional District in the school's division of Iloilo. It is located in the coastal area in the municipality of Bataan. This school has a land area of 4.6 hectares and comprised of 6,155 learners and 214 faculty and staff members. All in all, this comprises the ONH's family. The school is known for its various accomplishments, both academically and in extracurricular endeavors. Moreover, both the teachers and the learners are involved and working hand-in-hand in, hand in school-based management, planning, and activities. This is evident in the maintenance of functional and accessible school facilities that cater learners and teachers' needs in terms of hygiene, sanitation, and health education. Although Oton National High School has set its best practices, a lot of setbacks were drawn that need attention. Due to the school's population and lack of resources and facilities, and concerns such as the insufficiency of hand-washing facilities, clean comfort rooms, unsafe drinking water, and improper waste segregation, the school had made some reforms in these challenges. These have brought a lot of concerns not only to the learners, school personnel, but also to the parents and in the community. And so, to address these emerging issues, the school, with the Parents Teachers Association officers, in coordination with the local government unit of Aton, had taken action regarding the situation. With the help of the fund from the school's MOOE, donations from the private and non-governmental organizations, and other stakeholders, the school's program was able to mobilize and sustain the concerns. Parents Teachers Association officers donated additional hand washing facilities, garbage bins for segregation purposes, and initiated PTA funded drinking water per classroom. Class reorientations and hand washing and hygiene were conducted by class advisors to strengthen the need for proper observation of the daily routine. Learners, on the other hand, brought their personal hygiene kit and sanitary pads were provided for female learners. Classroom PTA fund was used to purchase water containers with potable water which is safe for drinking so as to prevent water illnesses such as diarrhea. Intensive weekly due day activities were facilitated in partnership with the LGU's VFES program. This is in relation with the Brigada Escuela, Province-wide Limpio Iluilo, Brigada Contra Dengue, and Barcada Contra Droga. Deworming is also held annually in the months of February and July to reduce prevalence of diseases among children. These are just some of the many sustainable activities done by the ONHS SBM WINS TWG. 
Furthermore, innovations were given emphasis to promote more accessible and practical ways of enhancing a safe and a conducive environment for learners, for teachers, and everyone around the school's campus. The school is a research powerhouse cares for research trends and actions. So as several senior high school learners conducted various researches in reference with the SBM's area of focus. Among these are into the level of satisfaction towards the school canteen and on the level of participation and effectiveness of waste segregation practices, both the learners and the teachers. The results of these studies helped a lot in the planning stage and served as a basis for the implementation of the TWG. which is headed by the Supreme Student Government SSG officers lead the hand-washing activities in the school. However, due to big learners' population in ONHS, hand-washing per section is scheduled ahead to cater all the learners. Day. Just a few health reminders while inside the premises of Ton National High School. 1. Make sure to wash your hands with soap and water in our designated hand washing facilities. PA or public address system was used for information dissemination in online platforms like a school FB page were utilized to cover everyone in the school with accurate and accessible information. The school map was also used to locate designated areas for school facilities and amenities for learners, teachers, as well as for the visitors inside the school campus. However, in the presence of the current pandemic, the COVID-19, the system has changed. Learners were advised to stay at home while school personnel report on a skeletal basis. This routine will continue not only during this time, but also become a part of our daily life. Furthermore, we had joined several activities like district-wide soap making and artificial alcohol making workshops in coordination with the ESETU programs were facilitated. These campaigns and environmental drives are widely practiced by the faculty and staff, with the learners, and with the other stakeholders. Bataan National High School will continue to deliver accessible, accurate, and evidence-based results now and in the future, because we believe that every child is a champion. And together, we, we can, can be champions, champions in our own ways. ways.